Hello again. If you remember the last video or the one before, the idea was to take this cutting board, hook my pan of ice on it, get that vise in so I could build some projects. So here's an up update on the project. Uh, the first thing I opened was a Frog Sounds QRP kit, which is a little 40 meter transceiver. Um, I'm doing it with the idea of building the audio amplifier first so I can experiment with some of the things going on with the LM386. So you can see the frog sound is pretty empty except for the audio circuit, which I have wired the input to what was supposed to be the key jack and the uh, output to the phone jack so you can follow a couple of coupling capacitors, uh, an inductor that I put a, resist, a, a wire in for, uh, and then over to the LM386 itself, where, uh, let me show you the schematic. So first to remind you, this is the Frog Sounds QRP kit, the Micro Power Wireless Transceiver Suite Manual, whatever that is. So their idea of the audio circuit is here, and it uses an LM386, and it's drawn sort of oddly, so I've redrawn it to make it a little bit easier to look at. And so that's this. So it's a pretty traditional looking uh, LM386 circuit, except for the fact that they use this 100 millihenry inductor uh, in series with a 10 microfarad capacitor. So for now, I've taken out that 10, 100 millihenry uh, inductor and put a wire there. Um, so like I said, I wired it all up so that I can use the input DC circuit, which is a, a polarity saving diode and two electrolytics and a 0.1 microfarad to clean up the supply. And then uh, they've got a 10 ohm and a 0.01 to apparently to bypass maybe RF to ground on the output. And then a couple of stand, standard coupling capacitors and then pens one to eight have a 10 microfarad capacitor, which I think will get me a gain of 200 because that's basically a short at audio. So we can give this a shot here. Uh, my signal source is uh, was ordered from, uh, I think AliExpress. It's an 8038 function generator and I've wired up some cables to it. Um, I don't know if I can do this all one handed or not, but we'll try it out. So I'll connect in the output of the function generator to the input of the frog sounds. That would be here. You know, maybe I won't do that yet. I haven't got a volume control on the function generator, so I don't know what that's going to do. So let me power up the function generator first. Okay, that's got a red light. And then we'll power up the frog sounds. Oh, sorry, wrong jack. And let's see first if we can uh, touch the input. Yeah, that works. So test one is done. Now we'll plug in the audio from the 8038 and see what we get. Now well, that's plenty loud. That'll wake the neighbors, probably. Well, that seems plenty loud. Definitely going to turn that off. Okay, so we have a functioning circuit to play with. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is work on this audio filter with the inductor and capacitor in series to see if I can get that to peak at about 800 hertz. So I'll see you on the next video, and we'll see how all this goes. Thanks for watching.